What's good YouTube? Today we're going to be going over how to uh, customize our uh, scenery for the Elgato HD60S. Let's go. So what you guys want to do once you're on your uh, desktop is just click on Game Capture HD. Double click on that and it'll pull you right up and it'll take you right over to this page right here. So what you want to do is click on under device click on show device settings and uh, it'll you just want to leave your HDMI under audio under this one if you have a different input device just select the one that you want to be using and uh, and if you're uh, and if your uh, internet speeds fast you can always allow for 60 frames per second and uh, also so when you want to do a live stream all you need to do is just click on this plus sign add account and you can add your YouTube Facebook etc etc and uh, once you added your account all you need to do is hit start streaming and click the commentary button so that way they can still hear your voice and uh, once your uh, microphone um, is plugged in as well you'll be able to select it under the live commentary section so you can kind of see here and last but not least uh, doing some editing scenes and or if you just want to record your video just without going live and doing the stream just hit the record button right here if you click that start stream and the record button it'll record both so what you want to do is if you want to edit your scene um, kind of add some overlays make it look real cool what you want to do is click edit scene and it'll take you right up here so it doesn't really look that good but if we hit this plus sign right here it says add overlay you'll be able to click on get scenes and you know what's really cool about this is that you can actually choose from a variety of uh, you know free uh, themes that they have available for you so let's say if you like Crash Bandicoot just click on Crash Bandicoot click on add webcam as well and you're you go kaboom click on save scene to kind of see what is happening and voila there I am so what we want to do next is click back to edit scenes and uh, you can actually add another overlay you can add an image wait hold on okay so what you can actually do is you can add an image as well to kind of help customize your overlay and uh, let's say if you like Call of Duty just click on your picture and throw it up right here you can customize the size and not only that you can actually click on that button again click add text and you can actually add a customized text so let's put smug panda and you can actually change the coloring on that too so if we want to change the color just select this and just click the red and boom and you can uh, add some bold italic underline and you can actually animate your uh, your font so you can have it bounce in left uh, it wasn't really a bounce but bounce out left let's try that oh there let's do mm. you get the point Ooh, jello. Okay. Click add. And there you are. And just click and drag, and you can kind of put that wherever you want. If you want it bigger, you can do it bigger. And if you want, you can uh, crop. You can bring to the front, bring to the back. Uh, let's see. Alright, hit save scene and voila, there we are.
What's up you guys? I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, it kind of gives you a good idea on what it's going to look like when you're actually playing online with your friends. And uh, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is if you go back to edit scenes, um, as long as it's a PNG, you can actually have it blend into the background. All right, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Panda, out.